Hello everyone, this is Little Black Dragon and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Fable 2. As you can see, I've uh, done some cosmetic changes to Sparrow once again uh, because I procured some purple dye and thought that it would be time to basically roll out the color combination uh, that I most want, which is, uh, well, uh, black and lavender. Anyway, uh, in our last installment I was mostly doing uh, some upkeep work, uh, buying new weapons, uh, getting money, that sort of thing. I decided to do the rest of that off screen as well because I didn't want to uh, spend two whole episodes basically having you guys watching me do that. Um, so that being said, there are several new quests that are open to us. Uh, we could go to the Crucible right away, but I think it would be cool to do some quests before then, uh, and then some after, before we actually head off to the Spire. So that being said, uh, we are going to start off with uh, not Whole Island's Huge Heat, which, uh, is the next, uh, Not Whole Island quest we're going to do, because it seems they're in trouble again <laughs> with their weather. And considering how much they've been complaining about the heat, it is only a matter of time before, uh, things got out of hand. So let's go take care of that. Now, you may be wondering, ah yes, uh, why are you dealing with a lot of heat when you're all dressed in, uh, black? Because doesn't black absorb heat? And I'm like, well, yes it does, but it looks cool, so I'm going with it anyway. So, let us go, uh, check out what's going on here. Alright. Oh, you. Yes, it's about time you came back. Look at the mess you've left us in. You've turned our beautiful island into a desert. And it's entirely your doing. I'm a victim here. And I demand, we all demand, that you make amends. Uh... You can start by retrieving the storm totem from the summer shrine before we die of thirst or lack of personal hygiene. I mean, fine, good, but, uh... Good. Uh, the summer key is buried uh, over there somewhere. Well, you don't expect me to find it for you, do you? You, uh... You're blaming me for this. Uh... You know what? I don't like you. But, uh... I am going to help your people, uh... Because they're the ones who are suffering for this. So... I am going to take my trusty companion and we are going to go deal with this mess. Uh, I think... Oh. You said there was a thing. Satisfaction guaranteed. I mean, cool. Come on. Oh, you're such a flirt. Uh... I... Uh, I'm actually not, but, uh... I'm actually trying to really look for a dig spot. Um... But you know what? We're gonna follow the glowing trail and not dawdle. So, let's go. Uh, yes, I'm doing quite well. Thank you. Mm, just, uh, move the mic back a little bit, because it seemed like things were getting a little, uh, in danger of being distorted there, and I don't want to, uh, be hard on, uh, anyone's ears. Oh boy. So, we're jumping down into, uh, that area, which I don't think we had access to last time. Oh boy. Hobbs. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh boy, now that I have a master katana, those things are going down pretty fast. 
Just a second, Fenrir. I'm coming. Oh boy. Oh, and uh, I got a new pistol, so that's a thing. And it has uh, some nice accoutrements. I'm coming, boy. So, I have both a Master Flintlock pistol now, and a uh, Master Light Crossbow. And of course, a Master Katana. Ooh, 200 gold. We can always use more gold. And I also made a bunch of gold while we were uh, off screen as well. Uh, so there's plenty to uh, buy potions and uh, other things. And uh, eventually at some point I'm going to show you guys, you know, buying uh, property because that's one way to continuously uh, earn money in this game. And there is the sun key. Uh, let's see. So basically you buy uh, properties. Some of them, uh, if you choose not to rent them out to anybody, you can live there. But if you rent them out, they'll give you, of course, uh, rent uh, every five minutes. And the nice thing about Fable 2, as opposed to its successor Fable 3, is this is a thing even when uh, you're not playing the game. So uh, you can make money uh, and have a nice chunk of change when you come back, which is very helpful. And I'm kind of sad they took that out in Fable 3. That was a decision I definitely disagreed with. Yahoo! More money. Definitely something to be happy about. Anyway, sorry for rambling there, guys. Uh, I'm just uh, in a very talkative mood and I have quite a bit to say this episode. Uh, another thing I was thinking about, actually, is that um, I uh, was very eager to get uh, weight loss potions and stuff like that uh, last time and went back and forth between Not Whole Island and uh, other areas. And I stopped to think, you know, why am I so worried about this? Like. Isn't it a cool thing that your character can be, you know, uh, have uh, more or less weight and it's, you don't get a lot of games where you can control and have uh, different body types for your character. And I think maybe I was worrying about that a bit too much and uh, sort of, uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh... It was just something where I just thought I should stop and reflect on that a bit. Maybe that's uh, not something I should be as concerned with uh, as I ought, as I was. Hmm. I mean, if you want your character to look a certain way, that's one thing. If it's uh. Other reasons it could be... Eh, I don't know. Whatever. Moving right along. And there is treasure. Of course there is treasure. Tell me where the treasure is. Oh, it's right there. Most excellent. Not whole blue dye. I think we already have that, but... Uh, Still, something to sell for later. Hmm, I do not like the fact that there is uh, this big area here. Um, hopefully that doesn't mean we're going to have a lot of enemies to deal with, but all things considered, we're probably going to have a lot of enemies to deal with. A shrinking potion. Well, that's certainly a nice thing to have. Let's see, the door is locked. Okay, uh, let's shoot that. Okay, um... Oh man, is this one of those puzzles again? Oh, I... that was completely my fault.
Okay. Uh, that's cool. The uh, door's locked there too. So we're just going to go this way. Oh, this is a expression totem. I think we're supposed to do the chicken dance, and now we're doing the floaty chicken dance. Okay, cool. And we shall follow... Oh, come on! There we go. Uh, I swear I hate flit switch puzzles like this. Oh, point and laugh. Should be uh, simple enough. Awesome. Alright. Cool. Oh, seriously? Alright. And then... Cool. Awesome. And sorry about jiggling the camera a little bit there. I was trying to be quick about making sure uh, I could get to the flit switch on time. More treasure. Take me to the treasure. And now we open the treasure. Ooh, an emerald. We can sell that later. All right, uh, and a dig spot. You know, boy, I really appreciate your being helpful, but sometimes I just want a moment of peace and quiet. Still, I am proud of you, and you are one good boy. Do not ever doubt that. Oh boy. Wait, what am I doing? I have a pistol now. You know what? This is taking too long. Let's just uh, kill everything with a sword. That netted us some nice uh, strength and skill experience. Oh, I forgot to mention, one of the things I put on one of my weapons was a gold touch an uh, amulet, and that gives us 50 gold per hit. So uh, that's another way to make gold. And unlike the gold burden amulet, there is no downside. Ah, and there is another treasure, which I can see from all the way over here. A Flame's Curse Augment. Well, uh, we have a better Flame Augment, so I think we're fine. Anything here? No, but it was worth looking. Let's see... Oh, probably a good idea to uh, eat some foods and recover some health there. Okay. Ah.
Cool. That was simple enough. Honestly, uh, having a pistol for this puzzle has been very helpful. Uh, even if uh, my reaction time isn't the best, uh, well, it's better now. Epiphantic blueberry pie. Of course, uh, should we be eating pies that we've buried uh, underground? That is the question. Except we didn't uh, bury the pie. And there I go again, saying uh, every other word as a filler, but whatever. No one seems to mind. And some buried coffee. That is something we run into a lot. Ah. Okay. Oh. No. Uh, that was... I'm dumb. Or I'm just, uh, pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. And we'll be going that way in just a second after we get the treasure. Which is 300 gold. Alrighty. Honestly, this seems like a lot simpler, uh, thing. Also, master uh, weapons are very nice to have. You guys did not stand a chance. Admittedly, part of the reason I was using crossbows was because they were cool and I like them, but I'll be honest, uh, pistols are very efficient as are rifles. So it's nice to have both on hand. Anything here? Nope. Ooh, but there's a nice dig spot in this area. And let us see what is under here. Hopefully something cool. A uh, bag containing 150 gold, which is uh, most awesome. Except uh, what is, uh, what's up here I wonder? Is it uh, anything interesting? That is a good question. Yes, in fact, there is a treasure. And it looks like there was an, an entire hob camp here. Complete with cages, beds, bones. Ooh, a knothole night shirt. Most excellent. I think the entire knothole night set is um, somewhere around uh, throughout the various temples. Okay, there is a dig spot. Uh, would you show me where the dig spot is? Yes, thank you. Most uh, helpful. Thank you, Fenrir. So, let's see... A filet mignon pie. Uh, whoever was here before really, really was a fan of uh, pies. Then again, there are hobs here, and hobs used to be children, so... Uh, maybe that's part of it. Oh, and there is a lever. I wonder what this does. It opens the way. Most excellent. Gonna jump down here. Anything? Nope. I think we're good. Oh. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Oh, did you just roll out of the way? Oh, 
There we go. Ooh, meat. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to pick that up, which is, uh, again, unfortunate. It looks like there might be something interesting behind these, uh, things. Cool. Nope, nothing interesting here. Oh, but I think there's something interesting here. Otto Island, Volume 3. Alrighty. It's interesting that in both of these caves we had a um, clan of hubs living there. I wonder what that's all about. Anyway, uh, perhaps that's a mystery we will uncover as we continue further on. Hmm. I wonder if there are... Oh, no, wait, that's uh, the area we just passed through. Yes, boy, I see the treasure. And it is more gold. We can definitely always use more gold. Yes, Fenrir? Ah, a dig spot. I thought that might be the case. Let's see. Yeah. 100 gold. And looks like we're going to have to swim here. Now the question is... Yep, I did not uh, missee that. A wedding ring. Wonder who left that down here. Yes, boy, I see the treasure. Ooh, booze. Some very expensive booze. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, yeah, uh, we're gonna have to be pretty careful of that. Okay. Okay, we can't, uh, there we go. Oh, shit, shit. Okay, well, it was a good uh, thing I had a resurrection file on hand. That was embarrassing, and I'm sorry you all had to see that. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Cool. Just be careful here. Uh, here is another um, switch. And let's see if that does anything. Why, yes it does. So, uh, don't step in front of blazing fire, kids. Uh, don't be dumb like me. Oh, treasure. 
And this one's in a overgrown box. Let's see. Not all night gauntlets, so I guess all we're missing is the helmet. Oh. Hollow men. There we go. Yep, I thought we were gonna have to deal with more of them. Get out of the way here. Oi. Let's uh get out of the way here. Ah! Hey. Suckers. Ah, screw it. This is taking him down easier anyway. We might have to upgrade to fourth tier spells. There we go. see. Uh, yeah. Let's use the storm totem. So, note to self, uh, magic may not be as reliable as guns or melee for a while. At least until I can get a fourth level spell. And now we must return to the chieftain. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay, what? Uh. Oh. Walked right by some treasure, according to Fenrir here. Ah. That whole island, volume nine, I think that was. Oh, everything is flooded. Well, uh, that's a thing now. Oh, rain, glorious rain. I've saved the island once again, all thanks to the cunning guidance I've offered you. Sure you did, buddy. You carried out your instructions well, and I commend you. Uh, consider the new shopping opportunities to be your reward. Now, I must oversee the collection of water and make sure everybody pays the proper rain toll. A rain toll? It's water, buddy. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Thanks to you, the Great Knot Hole heat wave has come to an end. Lakes will fill, crops will grow, baths will be had. The augment shop should be uh, able to be accessed now. Most excellent. And what do you know? Uh, we are just at the perfect stopping point. So I am going to save and cut the video off here, but of course, I will see you all in the next installment of Let's Play Fable 2 Redux. 
And of course, if you want to stay up to date, you can subscribe or follow me on Twitter, and I will see you all uh, next time. Thanks for watching.